working with layers and layer masks is pretty much the core of what makes Photoshop Photoshop. And I know that it can be really intimidating to learn when you're first learning Photoshop. So in this video, we're going to cover layers, layer masks, what they do, how to work with them, yada, yada, yada. Let's jump into it. Okay, so there are going to be two different types of layers that you can use or work with inside of Photoshop. There are pixel layers and adjustment layers. Pixel layers, like the name implies, have pixels. They're either an image or maybe it's a blank layer that you're painting an effect in on, or you can have adjustment layers, which are different types of adjustments. That can be maybe a brightness contrast adjustment layer, a curves adjustment layer, a color adjustment of some kind. Those are typically going to be your adjustment layers. Now, every layer that you add in Photoshop can also have a layer mask attached to it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here in my Layers tab, I have two different layers open here. I've opened two different images up as layers, and I did that from Lightroom. I just right-clicked and selected Open as Layers in Photoshop. And then it opens these two layers up, one on top of the other in the same file. So on top here, we have this darker version of the shot where I've actually underexposed the image. That way I could retain the highlights around the sun area. And then the brighter version of the photo was taken with a slightly longer shutter speed where I liked the water move movement better. And we're going to be using the foreground information from this image and blending it with the sky from this image. So with any layer, all you have to do is with that layer selected, I just clicked on this top layer, you go down to this icon here. This is the Add Layer Mask icon. You're going to remember it by the rectangle with the little circle inside. When I click on that, it's going to add this white rectangle here. This is a layer mask. So now the way layer masks work is white reveals, black conceals. So white reveals the layer that it's attached to, and black hides the layer it's attached to. Now by default, it comes in as white. But if I was to grab a paintbrush, select black, and then paint on this foreground, look what happens. It starts to reveal what is underneath, the layer underneath our darker layer, which in turn blends these two shots together. If I turn this darker sky image off, you can see what's happening. We're just blending in that darker sky with our brighter foreground. If I hold down Alter Option and click on this layer mask, it shows us exactly what we've done. You can see white is revealing this darker image and black is concealing or hiding it. Now let's delete this layer mask. The way I prefer to work, just because it's the way my brain works, I want to add in the sky from this particular image rather than remove the foreground from it. I mean, it's tomato, tomato. It's whatever you're most comfortable with. But the way I prefer to work is I will create that layer mask just like we did before, but then I will invert it, which means that it's going to fill that layer mask with black, which means that this layer will be hidden. You do that by going Control or Command I. And now you can see this sw switched the whole thing to black. Now this dark layer is completely hidden. Now I'm going to do the exact opposite of what we did before. I'm going to grab a white paintbrush, 100% opacity with my brush, and now I'm going to add the sky in because white is revealing this darker version of our shot. So as I paint over our horizon line there, you can see we've revealed this darker sky, thus blending these two shots together. So now let me show you another version of a pixel layer. If we go down to this icon here, this is the add new layer or create new layer icon. When I click on that, it creates a new layer, but it's a blank pixel layer, meaning there's it is a pixel layer, but there's nothing on it yet. Now the most common use for these layers, for me anyways, is I like to use these for my dodging and burning layer. So right now, if I was just to take a paintbrush at a low opacity and start painting on it, I'm literally just painting paint, just like a spray can over the top of our image. But we don't want to do that. What we want to do is change the way that that paint is going to interact with what's underneath it. So if we change the blend mode, which is right here, right now it's set to normal. If we change the blend mode of this particular layer to soft light and then do the same thing and start to paint over, 
this becomes a dodging and burning layer. So if I have a bright color, it's going to brighten. If I have a dark color, it's going to darken. Plus, we can add as much or as little saturation into that color as we want. So if we want to add a daylight type hue to the image, we can do that by painting this kind of orangey peach color. Or if we want to darken maybe parts of the sky, we could grab a dark blue like so and then paint this over the top parts of the image and that's going to deepen and darken the darker tones. So this is a pixel type layer. And just like anything else, if we wanted to, we could add a layer mask to this layer as well just by going down to the add new layer mask button, clicking on it, and now we've got a layer mask here. So let's say that I don't like what I've done in my sky. I could hide some of that by switching over to black, changing the opacity of my brush to say 50%. And then as I paint over the sky, it's just going to start to hide a little bit of what I've done. So if I hold down Alter Option, click on my layer mask, you can see that we're concealing some, but not all, of that adjustment that I did. So now when I turn this eyeball off and on, this is off, this is on, this is off, this is on. You can see that we still have a little bit of a, the effect in my sky, but not as much as we did. So this is a way that you can make a pixel layer also a local adjustment by using layer masks. So let's talk about adjustment layers now. So looking at this image, let's start off with a very basic adjustment. Let's just go down to our little yin yang type symbol here. This is where all of our adjustment layers are going to be. If we go up to brightness contrast, that's going to create this layer here. This is it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a brightness contrast adjustment layer, but you'll see it's also got a layer mask attached to it. So the way that you can use these is, first of all, as we adjust this, it's going to affect the whole image globally. So what we can do is we can make an adjustment with a particular part of the image in mind, and then we can use the layer mask to add that adjustment only to the part of the photo that we want it to affect. In this adjustment, I'm just looking at the sky, thinking about I want to darken down that sky, add a little bit of contrast to it, and kind of even out the tonality between the foreground and the sky. So obviously this is over darkening the majority of the shot, but we only want to add this into the sky. So we're going to click on our layer mask, make sure that's selected, make sure it's highlighted here with a little square around it like this. And we're going to hold down controller command and then hit I. And that's going to fill that layer mask with black. That means that this adjustment right now is being hidden. It's not revealed anywhere. Now we can grab our paintbrush Make sure that white is selected. With 50% opacity, I'll start at the top of the image and start painting it down. And because we're painting at 50% opacity, it's going to take multiple passes to bring in the full power of that adjustment. I'm using a fairly large, but I'm also using a soft brush by moving the hardness all the way to the left. That way we're getting a nice feathering effect. So now if I turn this off and on, you can see we've darkened that sky. If I hold down Alt or Option and click on the layer mask, you can see exactly what that layer mask is looking like. And remember, white reveals, black conceals. This darkening effect is being revealed only in the sky. Let's see what other kind of adjustment layers we have available to us. One of my favorites is levels. Levels is just a very simple way of adding contrast. So when I look at this shot, I'd like to see what uh, the majority of the foreground looks like with highlights that are brighter, but while leaving the darker tones alone. That way we're increasing the contrast in the foreground, but we're not necessarily just brightening it, the whole thing. So what we want to do is I'm going to grab the right slider and move this to the left, and then I'm going to grab the middle slider, the mid-tone slider, and move it to the right. We'll just keep move, pushing those two towards each other. And you see that we're starting to get a lot more separation, a lot more contrast between the highlights in the water, definitely the highlights in the ice, but we're leaving the darker shadows alone. I can always hit the eyeball next to this layer right here and turn this off and on, off and on, and it gives me a feel for what we're doing. And you know, there's places where it might be a little bit too much, but as we're painting on our layer mask, I don't have to bring the entirety of this effect in everywhere. I can just paint it into taste. So that's the nice part of this is that 
you know, we can start off with a really heavy adjustment, but then just bring in some of it and only bring it in in the areas that it looks good. So let's hide this by hitting our arrows here. And now we're going to start from scratch. So I'm going to invert this layer mask by going Controller Command I. Boom. And now with a 50% opacity brush, I'm going to start painting this over our foreground here. I'm going to be careful not to go into the sky too much because as I go into that sky, it's going to brighten the sky as well and it'll create some weird halos. So if I was to accidentally go into our sky like so, what I can do is I can either undo that by going Control or Command Z. Let's say we did it again. I can switch over to a black paintbrush and I can hide where I accidentally went into the sky too much. Get rid of that bright highlight that was being created there. Switch back to white. Do a few more clicks here. And then afterwards, do a before and after by turning on and off that paint uh, that eyeball. Seeing that I created a bit of a halo up above here, so I'm gonna switch back to black and try to eliminate that little halo that we created. And this is the beauty of layer masks, is that we can always go back, and if we decide that this whole adjustment is overdone, another cool thing that you can do with layers and layer masks, or layers, I guess, is you can decrease the opacity of this layer. So rather than going back and like trying to decrease the amount of the adjustment we did, we can just grab this opacity slider right here. And with this layer selected, if I drag this to the left, it's slowly going to fade out that adjustment. So I can bring it in to taste. We can keep going with this. Let's say we wanted to darken the top portion of the photo just a little bit more. Let's go down here and maybe let's try a curves adjustment layer. And I'm just gonna grab the curve drag it down a little bit, like so. We're gonna invert that layer mask, Controller Command I. If I repeat myself enough times, you guys will remember it. Controller Command I. Grab a paintbrush, let's go 100% opacity. We're gonna paint with white, and then we're just going to hit the top portion of the photo. It's just gonna add a little bit more darkness and mood to the top portion here. And you can just keep going on and on and on with this. So this is just a quick introduction to layers and layer masks. Remember that you have pixel layers, which are either going to be an image, or maybe it's going to be a blank layer where you're painting paint onto, or you're gonna have an adjustment layer. Adjustment layers are things like brightness contrast, contrast, you can do color adjustments, hue saturation adjustments, black and white adjustments. Lots of different adjustment layers are available to you. And then the most powerful part of it all is using the layer mask to make sure that that adjustment or that pixel layer only goes into the area that you want it to go. Remember with layer mask that white reveals, black conceals, and you don't have to bring it in 100% or 0%. You can just fade it in with just a slightly lower opacity brush of some kind. And then you can always decrease the opacity of those layers to really fine tune the amount of the effect that you want. Hopefully this has been useful and we've got lots more of these tutorials coming. So stay tuned, subscribe if you like this stuff. And remember, if you wanna learn all of this, you can go over to my website and I'll put a link in the description below and I've got a bunch of tutorials there. All right, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy.